All right, welcome to the second part of the testing video. So I'm going to be shooting at three different targets. First up, a clean chicken. Next, I'm going to be shooting at some beef ribs, and then I'm going to finish off shooting at a coconut. So this first test is just going to kind of see what happens when the broadhead hits flesh. We're just going to see what kind of cut it makes and what it does. So here we go. I'm going to be shoot starting off with the dirty poon, and again I'm using this 50 pound bow. Here we go. So you can see the entry there, it's pretty clean. I pretty much punched all the way through, I even cut through the uh, spine there. So I'm going to shoot at this again, here we go. It actually hit the area between the breast and the thigh here. You can see it just made a nice cut right through here. Right. You can also see that I'm not sure which side was the edge and which side was the blunt side, but you can see it sliced right through here. And I actually lifted some bone right in there. So let me shoot at this one more time. Here we go. So it looks from this cut that it went in edge up, and that's kind of what it looks like it did. So here it is. So now I'm going to shoot at another chicken with the two blade. But here it is. It does pretty well cutting through the ribs and the bones of the chicken. But here we go. Alright, so we have another chicken. I'm going to be using the two blade. Here we go. One thing I noticed right off the bat is, well, first off, it's a lot easier to take this broadhead out. But that's to be expected, it has no barbs. Entry's a little wider than the other one. But this one's very clean. One thing I noticed with this one as opposed to the other one is that the entry is very small, just a simple little blade shape to it. The other one had a little bit of tearing, so you can tell the other one does a little more damage, but that's to be expected with all the barbs. So let's shoot at this again and see what happens. So the next shot, right into the leg. If you can see that, right into the leg. Let's see if I can pull this out. And here, if you can see, I'm not sure if you can really see from there, but one and it cut through the bone here and left a nice cut right through the side of the breast as it exited out the back. Well, let me shoot this one more time. Again, a very clean cut.
Very small entrance. Very small exit. And it did some cutting while it was in there. But this one actually didn't go through the ribs. It actually went through the breast meat and around and out the back. So that's this one. So now let's go shoot at some ribs. Okay, now I've got some ribs. I'm going to be shooting at these ribs and we're going to see basically, hopefully, what will happen if this hits a bone. Will it go through it? Will it get stopped in the bone? Uh, will it break the broadhead here? So we'll see how it does. So first up, we're going to be using the dirty poon. Here we go. Okay, you can actually see where this end of the bone here is busted. The broadhead itself or the dirty poon looks fine. Might need to be relashed pretty soon, but it's holding up so far. But it went right through that bone at the top. Looks like it cut through the meat, then cut through the bone, and then broke that section. So we'll shoot at it again, see what happens. Here we go. Here's the second shot. So it looks like this just went right between the ribs. It did hit this bone right here, if you can see. So to cut into it, it looks like you probably hit on the I guess probably near the point, looks like it kind of dug in and then went on through. So let's try this one more time and see if we can get a direct hit on bone. I turn this inside, I turn this the other way, see if we can get a direct hit on one of these bones. There we go. So you can see where the dirty poon actually hit the bone, went right through and into the bone, and the arrow broke. So part of the reason it broke is probably because I'm so close to the target here, and that the arrow had more side to side than anything else. But it's pretty firmly planted in that bone there. And it looks like, if you take a look, to actually crack this bone. This is just a raised section here. And it's actually broken part of this rib. And that would be uh, quite painful. So here we go. I've got this. I went and cleaned up the rib. As you can see at one end, and I actually cracked the rib there. Now this would be kind of unlikely if you're actually shooting at something, because it's coming from the inside, not the outside. It seemed to want to just kind of go around the ribs from the outside. You can see it actually created a pretty big crack right in there. And it's actually lifted up part of the bone here. So here it is. I'm going to take this out and we'll continue the test. Alright, here's the two blade and more ribs. Okay, so this went in right between the ribs. Didn't really do anything. So let's see if I can hit some bone. Alright, 
So you can see this one came in and took kind of a large chunk out of this bone. So let's see if I can get a direct hit. So this was a direct hit on the bone and the broadhead actually went through it. I could actually push the rest of the arrow through. You can see it actually split right through the bone. But here it is. So now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to repair the other arrow. And then we're going to see how they do against the coconut. Here we go. Alright, so I've gone ahead and reattached the dirty poon. Here's the coconut. Alright, so it went and cut through the broke through the shell, as you can see. But it also broke off right behind right behind the tang again. So here it is. Alright. Alright, so here's the two blade and the coconut. Alright. There we go. So, as you can see, it went in and split the coconut, went right through. And here it is. Here's the two blade. Here's the poon. I went ahead and took the lashings off. And here it is. Basically my thoughts on it is that it's a really good all-around little knife. I mean that it holds a really good edge. And one of the things I was really impressed with is that even with the rib hit and hitting the coconut, there's really no damage to the point or the edge whatsoever. And that was one of my thoughts that, you know, it might fold or it might bend or break. And it really exceeded my expectations in that regard, especially with the design. Now my only hang up with this is the actual design of it because it's, because the point is offset, there's really no way for you to shoot this point and have it be centered on impact, meaning that the point will always hit off center. So the energy of the arrow going forward will always create this torque and what's that's, what that's going to do is what you've seen it basically snaps right behind the point and even with something like aluminum or something more robust you would still have that problem just because of you know I've got all this energy and it's driving the point off to the side but that's pretty much my only qualms about it I mean it flew surprisingly straight, even though it's offset and off-centered. It flew just as well as the two blade. So all in all, I said if that I say if this is all you have, it would definitely work. Especially if you're aiming for you know vitals or softer targets, because it does a really good job of actually skipping the ribs and going right between them. But my personal thought on this is that it's such a great backup knife to have that if it were me personally in a situation and I had a bow and I, need to, I needed to somehow make an improvised arrow, I would use it to make an arrowhead. I wouldn't go ahead and use it as an arrowhead just because having 
a knife that has a nice edge, you know, it corrosion resistant. With all the stuff I put it through without any oiling, I mean it's titanium so it's not going to rust in the steel sense. And all in all it's a great little blade. So you can check out Dirty Knives site in the link below or in the description below. And I think that you know this is a really great little knife to have. It can be used as an arrowhead. And as you saw with some of the tests, I mean it will cut, it will do a lot of damage. Also make sure if you're gonna if you ever do plan on using this for hunting, make sure that you check your local laws because you know single edge barbed points like this aren't legal in a lot of states and in a lot of places, but you know, all in all it's a great little knife and it flies pretty good out of a bow. So here it is. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.